Good morning. Welcome back, Escape family. We are now about to enter our devotional hour for this new week starting here. Welcome to those who are joining us for the first time. You are with the Escape Forever Free family. We are working together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Not so much by our effort, but by our works through our faith. So as we continue to increase in the faith that God will make possible all things through us who surrender to him, we allow our faith to manifest these works through us. So this morning, we are spending time with God in worship, in faith that we will be drawn closer to him and come into a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Holy and righteous God, I thank you for taking us to another devotional hour. We thank you, dear God, that while we slept in the night, you gave your beloved rest. We pray for those who might not have been able to find rest in their sleep. And we beg, Father, that your Holy Spirit will move them to the remedies we pray that they will start on their knees to plead before you and pour out what it is that might, they might be causing them to lose on sleep. And I pray, dear Jesus, that you'll work with your Holy Spirit movement to give them remedies so that when they sleep, they will find rest. As we rise before you this morning, reconsecrate us entirely, blot out all of our sins, and wash us with your blood, Jesus Christ, and make us pure and holy as you impute your righteousness to us. We come before you now, accept our worship we beg as we pour out our hearts and seek and search after your righteousness. In Jesus' name, amen. This week's memory text from our quarterly, and our quarterly this week is entitled Desire of Ages. So every week we do the memory text from our Seven Day Adventist quarterly. So this week's title is Desire of nations. And the memory text is Isaiah 60, verse 3. Let us now work to commit it to memory. So Isaiah 60, verse 3 says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Isaiah 60, verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Memory text, Isaiah 60, verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Memory text, Isaiah 60, verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. May God help us to commit this text to memory as he will use it as he will for our edification and for that of others and for the glorification of his name. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading for this morning's devotional is coming from the Maranatha devotional by E.G. White. And this morning's reading is entitled, Physical Health and Noble Thinking. Physical Health and Noble Thinking. And Noble Thinking. The key text for this morning's devotional is 1 Peter 2 verse 11. And we're going to read that for you as well. 1 Peter 2 verse 11 reads, Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Many regard this text as a warning against licentiousness only, but it has a broader meaning. It forbids every injurious gratification of appetite or passion. Every perverted appetite becomes a warring lust. Appetite was given us for a good purpose, not to become the minister of death by being perverted, perverted and thus degenerating into Losts which are war against the soul, quote unquote. P 
Peter's admonition is a most direct and forcible warning against the use of stimulants and narcotics. These indulgences may well be classed among the lusts that exert a pernicious influence upon moral character. Let none who profess godliness regard with indifference the health of the body and flatter themselves that intemperance is no sin and will not affect their spirituality. A close Sympathy exists between the physical and the moral nature. The standard or virtue is elevated or degraded by the physical habits. Excessive eating of the best of food will produce a morbid condition of will produce a morbid condition of moral feelings. And if the food is not the most healthful, the effects will still be more injurious. Any habit which does not promote healthful action in the human system degrades the higher and nobler faculties. Indulgence of appetite strengthens the, animal, the animal's propensity, propensities giving them the ascendancy over the mental and spiritual powers. The strength of the temptation to indulge appetite can be measured only by the inexpressible anguish of our Redeemer in that long fast in the wilderness. He knew that the indulgence of perverted appetite would so deaden man's perceptions that sacred things could not be discerned. If the power of indulged appetite was so strong upon the race that in order to break its hold, the divine Son of God, in man's behalf, had to endure a fast of nearly six weeks, what a work is before the Christian. Yet, however great the struggle, he, the Christian, may overcome. By the help of that divine power, which withstood the fiercest temptations that Satan could invent, he too may be entirely successful in his welfare with evil, and at last may wear the victorious crown in the kingdom of God. Amen. This morning's devotional reminds us that our physical health and our spiritual um, destiny are intertwined. Many will dispute and defend against this philosophy, this concept, this teaching. It is not an easy pill to swallow. It's indeed a hard teaching. But before this and continued in this devotional study, we have been appointed to examine what it is that we are doing in feeding our physical vessel because it is not possible that we can compartmentalize the effects of the physical and the spiritual and how they are intertwined. We therefore must take heed to this light that we're getting and start to pour out ourselves before God to seek of him. Do not take my word for it or the prophetess word for it as to what he will have you do at this stage of your life as you surrender your physical appetite and invest in your physical health. Outside of that, it is a part of our stewardship to take care of our bodies. Remember, our bodies are the temples of God. Can it possibly be that it would not matter what we put in it, how we treat it, and how we invest in it? It is not possible based on the principle of who God is. And so, this morning, I join the devotional guide in encouraging you, invest in your physical well-being. Surrender yourself bodily to God and ask of him to direct you as to how it is that you may truly be a good steward to your body, for which you will have to give an account to your God in the judgment. May God help us all to make very healthy choices for our body's um, growth and 
our bodies benefit and in it all may God be glorified. Indeed, physical health does encourage, stimulate and lead to nobler thinking. Let us go to our hymn for the morning and then we close with prayer. This morning's hymn is number 618, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. We know the struggles there are many, brethren, but hold on. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead. Till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord indeed. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the trumpet call obey, for to the mighty conflict in this is glorious day. He that for men no serve him against unnumbered foes, let courage rise with danger and strength to strength oppose. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, stand in his strength alone. The arm of flesh will fail you, ye dare not trust your own. Put on the gospel armor and watch in on to prayer. Where cause is cause for duty, be never wanting there. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the strife will not be long. This dead or noise of battle, the next, the victor's song. To him that overcometh, a crown of life shall be. He with the King of glory shall reign eternally. Hallelujah. Amen. We're challenged to stand up and be different. To follow up on the light. Read the gospel. Read the word of God. Study the prophecy. And see how of a truth it is that our physical state does influence our spiritual state and progress. Read the writings of Ellen G. White and diets and councils and diets and health and even ministry of healing and see if in it you can find any light to help you to understand what is required of you in taking care of the vessel of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your truth. We thank you for your light. We thank you for your wisdom. And we thank you for your admonition and your guidance in helping us to prepare this body to serve you, this vessel in which our spirit does dwell, so that, Father, body and spirit can be in tandem, and so that truly you can speak and do greater things through us as the clarity and the power is released through the clear and pure minds and thoughts that are furnished from having a healthy vessel. Oh Jesus, teach us because we do not know how it is that we should care for our body. And Father, even for what is most required in this present time, Father, give us the present truth because many things have changed in as to what it is that is provided for us to consume. So give us wisdom in knowing that all things are not still fit to enter into our vessels. Give us wisdom and give us 
also spirit father that are broken and humbled before you so that when the light comes to us we will not be defensive and we will not ignore it is our prayer everyone in the hearing of this prayer who is in agreement that no light be hid from them that can lead them dear jesus to please you in the way that they take care of their physical being so all of us dear jesus may come into this noble experience of thinking as the divine empowers us and possess us fully and is able to speak to us and through us even more clearly with such investment hear our prayers and answer with favor we beg in jesus name amen may god help you to make the right choice for your body his vessel let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer amen walk good but above all walk with god see you in our next devotional